Okay, right here I have something that I stumbled on uh, not too long ago. This was uh, less than two months ago, 2nd of April. Uh, I was in a liquor store, a government liquor store, and I was looking for something new to try that I haven't had before. And I'm going through all these bottles of official bottlings that I've tried before, and then I spotted this, the Octave. Now I have had a bottle of whiskey, whiskey that was aged in an octave cask in the past, and if I recall, that one was from Glen Glassaw, and the octave cask is uh, one eighth the size of, uh, I guess, a hogshead or something like that. I think it says so on the back of this. I'll explain. I'll get to that in a moment. But first, we gotta open this. Oh, it's nice. This box has a magnet and it opens up like this and it opens up like that okay and it comes out here this is our octave it's from Glen Tucker's and was distilled in 2008 bottled in 2016 I think it says uh, okay it's got tasting notes here that's useless to me it's 700 mils um, I think on the box it says here, uh, what the, okay, aged eight years in oak casks, cask number 8511979, region space side, months in octave, nine months in octave, so it's an octave finish. Okay, bottle number one of 106, bottle number one, wow, of 106, year bottled two in 2016. So it's eight years old. It's bottled at 52.6% uh, alcohol by volume. How did this get to a BC liquor store? I have no idea, but I'm going to enjoy it. Bottle number one. Wow. How did bottle number one get shipped to here? I really don't know. And it's a small... It's a small run, too. 106 bottles. Wow. Real cork. You can see it's a real cork in there. Turn it around this way. That looks like a real cork. And now I'm going to open this up. All right. Let's pour it into a wee glass. It came from the Lafroy distillery when I was in on Isla two years and a bit ago. Eh, let it sit in this wee glass for a little bit. Okay. And it says here, it's an independent bottling, Duncan Taylor. Okay. For many years, Duncan Taylor Scotch Whiskey Limited has experimented in the use of differing cask sizes for the maturation of single malt and single grain Scotch whiskeys. This research stemmed from the simple premise that there is more interaction between the wood and spirit over a shorter period of time in a small cask than in a large cask, allowing a faster melding of wood, air, and alcohol. To great delight, the spirit that resulted from this method of maturation demonstrated a depth of quality missing from a larger cask over a similar period of storage. It had become smoother, more balanced, and was bursting with character with its rough edges removed. The taste profile was changed dramatically, becoming akin to a whiskey of a much more mature nature or vintage. It was polished, bright, and sparkling with intensity. Duncan Taylor Scotch Whiskey Limited are now proud to present the Octave Cask Range, the culmination of many years spent refining this unique maturation process. The spirit in this bottle is an exclusive example of a good whiskey taken beyond all expectations to become rich Complex and wise beyond its years, it has been octave invigorated. www.duncantaylor.com There we go. Once again, the box. And once again, the bottle. Okay. Let's have a sip of water before we start. A 
Let's coat the glass a bit so that we have the most surface area possible. And since these are smaller glasses, you don't get the same area as you do with a full-size Glen Cairn. Where, why am I using these? Not to mix it up a little bit, I suppose. And because all the Glen Cairns are dirty, <laughs> all the full-size ones are dirty. Hmm. And I'm probably not getting the same the same nose as I would with a regular Glen Cairn using these small glasses. So this may be an experiment that I will not repeat. We'll see. It smells fruity and well-rounded. I'm getting a maltiness. I'm getting some vanilla and caramel, yes. Vanilla and caramel in equal measure. Is there any bit of Werther's original too? It's opening up as I'm going along. It's opening up as I'm going along with my nosing. I'm getting a little bit of a bubblegum note too. Like uh, Bubblicious or Hubba Bubba. Do they still make those? I remember those thick bubblegums came out back in the 70s or so. They were really better than the playing card bubble gum that you would get. Or Bazooka Joe. Bazooka Joe was good too. But the new thing was Bubblicious and Hubba Bubba. And there were a couple other brands of those thick, soft bubble gums that would come in a packet that was about so long. And uh, and they would be uh, individually wrapped in, in a wax paper wrapper in a package that was so long. I haven't had bubble gum in decades. But this brings it back. The nose on this brings it back. So fruity, malty, bubble gum. Werther's original vanilla toffee. Lovely so far. This is eight years old and matured in a octave cask. Just for the record. Another bit of water. You can't get Glen Talkers here at all, except these independent bottlings. So it's interesting. But if there is a Glen Talkers, um, I think Glen Talkers is one that's used very much in in uh, blends. And uh, I don't even know if there are any Glen Talkers um, official single malts. So far, this smells amazing. Okay, let's uh, give it a 
This bottle number one out of 106, was it? I think it's still in the box. Bottle number one of 106. Hmm. Maybe they all say number one of 106. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. It's cheaper to print them that way. So everyone gets fooled into thinking he has bottle number one. I should have looked and seen if there was another bottle of this stuff there. I was in the store today and there was none. It's long gone. They must have sold out in a day or two. Okay. Oh. Oh. This is lovely. Lovely fruity. Fruity and a little bit spicy. I'm sure that comes from that nine months in the octave cask. The octave was probably um, um, virgin oak. So it's, there's some of those spicy, spicy notes from the wood, and the fruity notes, and the uh, it's quite fruity, quite fruity on the palate. Then there's a spiciness from the virgin oak. There's also oranges. I get oranges often when uh, you have um, a single malt whiskey that's aged or finished in virgin oak or in this case in an octave cask. Orange, lots of orange, orange and spice. Try that again. Mm. I like this slippery mouthfeel. It's a little bit alkaline. Then bursting flavors of oranges. Um, a little bit of spice from the wood. Some oak tannins, I guess you could call that. I'm not getting so much the vanilla and caramel that I was getting on the nose. On the palate, I'm getting in their place oranges. Yep. Yep, oranges. What did this cost me? I have it right here. Duncan Taylor Octaves, $91.99, so $92. Bucks. Um, 9.2 divided by 2. There's the uh, goods and services tax, plus 9.2. There's the liquor tax, the taxes of 13.8 plus the 10 cent bottle deposit plus um, 91.99, 105.89 out the door, and you know what? I'd say it's definitely worth it. This stuff is good. This is very good. This is a very satisfying single malt bottle at 52, did we say? 52.6% alcohol by volume, just at the top end of the um, Goldilocks zone. But you know what? What if I was to add just a tiny little bit of water to it? Come on. And that drop there. A tiny little bit of water. And see what that does to it. Does that open anything else up or does that just water it down? I think at 52.6% alcohol by volume it should, it should be able to take a few drops of water. I've added three but you know there's not much left in this glass either. So those three drops should uh, significantly bring down the alcohol by volume. I forgot to bring a spoon again so I have to use my finger. 
Ah. There's not a lot left here. If anything, I'm getting more caramel and vanilla and more malt than I was getting before. Definitely more malt. Uh, I wonder what that does on the palate. Hmm. Now I'm getting less orange and more vanilla on the palate than I was getting before adding any water to it. The orange is still there, but there's a smooth vanilla note that comes in, and a little bit of caramel. Lovely. I believe I've run out of whiskey. Slanchava. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>